Hey you guys, it is me, Laura. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids, ages four, eight, and 11. And today I am going to finally, finally share with you my review of the math on the level curriculum. Now I want to let you know, this is not going to be a flip through, show you how it works kind of video. I made a very thorough one of those and I will link it where the iCard is. I don't know what side it's on, but I will link it there for you and I will also link it in the description below. So if you're wanting to see what it's like and how the program works, I definitely recommend checking out that video. We have been using this program for several months now and I finally feel like I am at a point where I can share with you the pros and cons, how I feel about it and how it all works. I know one of the first questions that people have when it comes to a math curriculum is especially one that is not your traditional style math curriculum is, is it enough? And my answer to that question is that I don't think that even the traditional full on from all the curriculums we've tried and all the things that we've done for some kids, none of it is enough, period. Um, I have one child who is extremely math minded and just about any math curriculum is about enough for him. Now with even children like that, there's always going to be concepts that are challenging that you'll need to step back, look for other resources online or bulk up the curriculum to help them understand a concept. That's just the way math works for most kids. Um, some of it comes easy and some of it's harder and some concepts just take a little longer to understand. However, I would say for most kids um, to really understand math, you are going to have to add to any math curriculum you have. Um, and that's just been my experience, um, both in the classroom and working with various homeschool curricula. But that is part of the major, major pro of this math on the level is that it is super, super flexible and it gives you everything you need to have a base and then you can run with it. And it is going to look completely different for any family that uses it. It might even look different for each child that uses it. So what has taken me a while to do this review is that it took us a while to truly get a rhythm that works for my son. So first of all, it was getting used to this curriculum. This is not a curriculum where you open it and do day one, day two, day three, day four. It's much more open-ended than that. There is a whole book that comes with curriculum resources. Um, it's got math adventures and fun hands-on stuff. And I was actually really excited about this portion of the curriculum, but I find that we don't use it in the way that they suggest. So they suggest you do two hands-on activities and two lessons a, a week or, or three lessons and two hands-on activities or something like that. We've kind of, that's what I started doing. And then we kind of mixed it up a little bit. So it also changes. I love that if I have a unit study that has easy to tie math in. For example, we tied math in very easily with our Song for a Whale unit study. We had a math resource called an Ocean Math Journey, and so we used that. It had all sorts of math related to the ocean, and we pulled from there. And the cool thing is, is because each child has their own chart and you can keep track of the skills, you can teach that skill where it makes sense in a unit study and it doesn't mess anything up. It's totally fine. We also incorporated a lot of skills with our Middle Ages units because we had the circumference books, which fit perfectly with that but you don't always have to have that. When I have those, I'll pull resources on the internet. A lot of, one thing that we pair with this a lot for us personally is the uh, math antics videos on YouTube. Those are free videos and they're a great way to introduce new topics. They work well for my son. However, um, in the teaching guide, there are, it gives you ideas for ways to present all of the lessons and it shows you how to teach the lesson to your child. So it'll have this. Sometimes there's games and activities and more ways to teach here. Sometimes there's only one. It has little notes about any of the vocabulary that you might need. So as far as introducing a concept, this really is, I mean, it's really got what you need. But if you feel like your child needs a little bit more to grasp the concept, you can easily use a math antics video or another online video, or sometimes we'll play games or I will, if it's a concept my child's having a hard time to grasp, I'll go to Teachers Pay Teachers and see if there's any information, like any activities or things there that we can do, or I'll do a Pinterest search. But I have found that for us, the rhythm that is working best is every day my son does his five a day. So if you watched the video that told how all of this works, the five a day review is a personalized review based on the skills that your child 
knows and you can adjust the frequency. So if your child really has a skill down pat, you can either take it off the review or only review it once a month. If you, the problem's coming up in the review over and over again and they're struggling to do it independently, you can either decide to take that off the review and put it back in and reteach that concept later or you can put it in the review more frequently so that they can get a little bit more practice and it will become easier for them. But it's really, and it, it's so quick, like it seemed overwhelming at first to do this, but I sit down and I do the review sheets once or twice a week and it only takes me five or 10 minutes to do them. If, you know, in those two different blocks. So that's super easy. It prints out, it gives you the answers and you're good to go. Um, when it comes to new concepts, I usually like to have some activity to introduce the concepts. It might be just a math antics video that we watch, it might be a game that we play, it might be an activity that I found online, but we'll do something, it might could be, could be a book we read, but we'll do something to kind of introduce the, top, the concept and help him understand how to do it. And then what we'll do is I print out a big worksheet because you can print out worksheets for this too. So if there's a concept that you're working on, you can decide how much practice your child needs. So maybe they like, they need to do a lot of repetition in order to get a concept. So you can print 10, 12 problems on that page. If you have a child that's easily overwhelmed, you can give them five. So you can really adjust it. You can also put multiple concepts on a page, however many concepts you want. So you can really, really customize it. And it's super quick and easy. It's just a matter of plugging in your numbers, deciding the level of difficulty, and bam, it gives you the answer key and it gives you the specialized worksheet that's made just for your child, which is super cool. Um, but what I'll do is I will tend to fill up a worksheet. So that's however many problems I can put on one worksheet and have it completely filled up. And we will work on these problems together over the course of a few days. So usually we'll do, depending on the type of problem, we do about four or five problems a day, sometimes less, but that's kind of my goal. And we'll do them together on a whiteboard multiple times, do them together on a whiteboard just so that he can see and we can walk through it and talk through it and then he'll start getting to the point where I'll let him do some, some of it but I'm still there with him until he gets to the point where he's like hey mom I've got this and then at that point I'll let him do a few of them on his own and then they roll over and they go to his review page and he's ready to go and so then we can then start introducing a new concept and that has worked so so well for us it has completely reduced meltdowns um it feels accessible to him and not stressful. If I find that the review sheets for every day are getting too long and he's getting overwhelmed, I take a look at them and I say, okay, are there any of these that he's mastered and doesn't need to be practicing? Are there any here that he's struggling with that are just difficult for him? Um, or do we just need to spend more time? So we took a while where he had seven or eight problems on his review sheet, which is a lot for the review. You really should shoot for around five and occasionally more. Um, and there will get more as they're in upper level. So we just took a while and did review and spent several weeks, I think, even just working on his review to where he could master some of those skills, bump them to where he could do them less frequently, get his reviews down to a manageable level, and then we could start adding new skills. And I have to admit, one of the things that I was concerned with at the beginning of the year is that we would not cover enough skills. As I've been looking at all of these other math curriculums and as I've been kind of comparing things, we have actually learned more skills this year, I think, than he already, than I think he would learn in a typical math program, just even just going at his pace, even though it's really slow, because a lot of these programs will kind of cycle back to the same thing over and over again. And with this, what I'm able to do is go deep into a topic. So um, instead of learning, for example, with geometry, he loves geometry. So we could dive in deep and learn so much more about geometry than you would usually learn at once. And that helped his understanding of it just really sink in. He grasped it a whole lot better because he could get a bigger picture view. And I'm able to do that with this program. And at the same time, if there's a concept that he's struggling with and maybe needs a break from for a while, we can get there and we can say, okay, you know what? We're gonna not worry about this right now. Let's move to something else and we can come back to this later and it all works. And the great thing about the sequencing sheet is it tells you like if you get to this concept but you really can't do it until you until you have this other concept understood. There's not not all of the concepts in math are that way, but there are some that you have to have one step mastered before you move to the next one. It'll tell you that so that you can say, "Oh, okay, we want to tackle this, but he needs to build this foundation first." So start with the foundational stuff 
and then just keep going. I know that this review is not as great as what I would like, but I have waited so long to get this out to you guys because it was a struggle at first because it is so different from any math program that I have ever tried. And for me, it was overwhelming for a while because I was trying to do too much. I was not letting the program work. I think that was my biggest downfall at the beginning is I was really trying to make these elaborate lessons every day and have every day be fun and exciting and have every day just have all this stuff. And I was trying to move through at a pace that I thought was reasonable. But when I took a step back and I simplified it, <laughs> We do one lesson, like introductory lesson, and then we just practice it together. And like I said, we will play games and we'll do fun stuff where that makes sense. But I've taken the pressure off myself to do that all the time. And it has just worked so well since I've done that. It's simplified math for him. It's helped him understand it. Um, and it has just worked really well. So I hope that review is helpful for you. Um, like I said, it's not as thorough as I would like, but I wanted to go ahead and get this up because I know several of you have been asking for it. If there's any questions that you have that I didn't answer, please let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to answer in the comments. And if I need to make a follow-up video answering some of those questions, I certainly will. But I would say um, for sure, check out the walkthrough where I explain this whole concept and how it works. But I think this is a really, really solid math program. And, um, if I had to only have one math program for all of my kids all throughout school and that was what I had to stick with, it would hands down be math on the level because it is so adaptable for whatever child you have. It's adaptable to your schedule. It's adaptable to your rhythm. I mean, it's just, there's so much good stuff in here. And if you like to do a lot of game schooling or real life learning, there are loads of ideas. Like I said, we haven't used um, the math adventures as much as I thought we would, honestly. Um, it just has not been something that, that we've used yet. I think it's something that we might use more later on down the lines, but it just talks, and a lot of this stuff is stuff that we just do naturally, so I don't even think about it. But it talks about things like using odometer reading as a chance for math, or mileage calculation, or um, estimating gasoline. Like, if you really wanted to put together some really fun math experiences that are very hands-on, this book would totally have you covered too. So this really has everything that you need. The online worksheet creator, um, review creator, and the spreadsheet to keep track of everything is super easy to use. And I just, I am so glad that I took the plunge and got this program. And um, yeah, I'm excited to keep using it going forward. So like I said, I hope that answers your questions. And if you guys have any more, let me know. I will leave a link to Math on the Level below. And um, I will talk to you later.